What is happening, loud and proud crowd? So first off, I want to say welcome back to the channel for those of you who have been watching relentlessly for more than two years now. For everybody that still does watch my videos day to day, I want to ask you something. If there were two things you would change about my content, how it's filmed, what I do, what I do with the trucks, or like what it is, if you could comment two things that you would change, what would those two things be and comment them down below? Why, why am I limiting it to two things? Because I'm sure there's tons of stuff you can change, but obviously I just want opinions from the audience. What's two things you would change? In today's video, we're gonna be doing the install of the Whirly Custom Fab second gen swap kit. First thing we're gonna be doing with this um, whole thing is I gotta first take this charge pipe out because we're gonna be replacing that. And then I'm basically gonna take just like a shop towel and I'm gonna wipe down along that manifold just to kind of clean some things up a little bit. Um, just to make sure the gaskets seal nice and we don't have any issues. And, and other than that, I think we're gonna be pretty much good to go to start installing this kit. Now, I'm gonna get everything unboxed real quick and show you what we got. So we got the entire kit out. We've got the Steed Speed Manable, Turbo Blanket, S463, Shorty Down Pipe, Charge Pipe, intake pipe, drain lines, feed and drain line for your oil, V-bands, you've got some heat wrap for your down pipe, some silicone boots, and of course just some sorted fittings and hardware and bands and stuff like that. Essentially, this is the entire kit. Now, this is not necessarily how every kit comes. There are options, like you don't have to choose a steed speed, you can go with something cheaper. You don't have to choose a turbo blanket, you don't have to choose the colors I chose. Like, there's, there's some other things that you can kind of pick and choose, and I don't even think you have to buy a turbo through Really Custom Fab. Um, you can, you know, piece one together yourself and just buy the, the other kit, like the piping kit. Um, but of course, it's just easier when, you know, you order your turbo through them, because then they know exactly what the kit's being put with in terms of a turbo, so it comes, you know, accordingly. Like this, for example, um, instead of needing like a fitting in between or an adapter to make it fit, this kit, since I ordered it through them, it will just mount up seamlessly just like that. Same with the downpipe and all that stuff. It's just gonna mount up to this specific turbo and to the downpipe that's on the truck. And the turbo's gonna mount up specifically to that manifold, all that stuff. It's just nice when you order something through them and they know exactly where everything's supposed to go. Just like the intake is, you know, specifically for this truck. I didn't even realize that was on that side. But anyway, so when I order kits, I just like to make sure it all comes from one place so they know exactly what all parts need to go with that kit and that's all the right size and perfect. So anyways, we are going to be getting in the engine bay of this truck, getting this thing hopefully installed here. I do have an appointment I have to leave for at 11 o'clock. So it's about 8.30 now. I'm gonna see how much I can get done before then. We'll see, hopefully I can get most of it done. But uh, without any further conversation, let's get into the engine bay and see how much of this we can get installed. Well, everybody, if you look outside, I was in the shop for literally more than 10 hours working on this. 
and I'm just hoping when I start this truck that there's no exhaust leaks or anything because I'm I'm done for the day, like I'm just done with this. Kit's not hard to do. I'm not saying the kit's a bad kit, that's not it. When you don't have the right shop tools and you're trying to use stuff that's not really for that purpose to try to make it by, it makes it a pain in the butt and literally a two hour job took 10 hours because everything takes five times as long when you're not using the right parts. So for example, we don't have a creeper here. It's my dad's creeper, I'm not gonna take his creeper. We usually have a creeper to lay over the engine bay to tighten all the clamps and all the stuff and hold stuff together and tighten it down because it's easier when you're right over top versus standing on a bow target, trying not to fall and hurt yourself. So all that aside, not the right wrenches, not the right things to work on the stuff. Like we made it work. I don't know if I'll do another job that's this involving without the right tools. Like, cause the hours that I lost, I can't get back. It's a little bit discouraging. Of course, here's the SMB intake. And like I said, I wanted that same flat black over here, which of course this is like dusty, but um, I wanted the same flat black over here. And that's what we got. The Whirly Custom Fab high mount second gen swap kit for the five nines. Was it easy? In theory, the kit is not supposed to be hard to install. No, it's not, it's not bad. But honestly, the toughest thing is not having the right tools. So if you don't have the right tools, the right stands to get over the engine bay, the right lights to hang over the hood, like all the stuff that I used to have, if you don't have all the tools, wait until you get the tools, or it's just gonna be a pain in the butt. Like it just, it's just difficult when you don't have the right stuff. But anyways, we're going to top off the coolant and then once we top off the coolant we're going to give the truck a fire up and make sure we don't have any weird sounds have the kit all installed, cool levels are topped off, got all the piping kit hooked up, all the things tightened down, everything's good and snug, everything's up to spec. Hopefully guys like the kit and the install that we have done on this thing and I'm gonna get to the property actually here in a minute. I'm gonna get out and show you the whole kit in good lighting and kind of go over some aspects of the kit and things that I liked and disliked about install, ease of use, stuff like that. So we're gonna get over here right now, show you under the hood and just give you kind of like an overview, a conclusion to the install of this second gen swap. Oh yeah, and don't forget, you guys are down to the last 10 days to enter to win this truck. Yes, USA, 50 states, and Canada can participate and win this truck. And it doesn't matter where you are, if you're in the US, you could be all the way across the country or in Canada, all the way up north, it doesn't matter. We will make sure that your ticket is paid for to fly out and get it or your cost if you wanna drive out to get it and trailer it back or you wanna drive it back, whatever the case is, we will cover the cost to make sure that you are not out of pocket to get this truck to your driveway. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. You guys are gonna love this truck. Let's get under the hood of this truck and show you exactly what we got done. Look underneath, no dripping, no leaking, nothing. We're good. So anyways guys, if you come under the hood of this truck, like I said, we've got the flat black SMB cold air intake there. We've got the flat black really custom fab stuff here with the machined badge right across the front which actually looks kind of cool of course we've got the turbo starting to heat up for the first time ever so it's getting a little bit of discoloration we do have a turbo blanket to go on there we just haven't put it on yet i just thought you know i'm just gonna make sure it doesn't have leaks and problems and crap like that before i go putting that on there um, in terms of the turbo sounds awesome runs awesome and i'm gonna do in my next video more like about the drivability and the turbo itself a little bit more in depth about that more than just like you know, showing you it and the install, like what we did in this video. So in terms of the install, let's get into that. Whirly really Custom Fab actually makes like this kit extremely easy to do. Now, I did say I was in the shop for 10 hours. That had nothing to do with the kit not being easy to install. That had everything to do with not having the right tools 
in the right platforms to get up and work in the engine bay and the right it's it just it was that kind of stuff you know what i mean and i was like out there by myself you know trying to stand on a block and like lean over the edge not you know hit the fender and stuff not scratch it up and like trying to work trying to put towels here and like it, it was just like it was just a mess so do i recommend the kit in terms of ease of use it's definitely easy to install it's like it's literally like a out of the box ready to go kit that's super simple you just got to freaking like have the right tools to be able to make your life easier working on this in terms of that definitely recommend it in terms of ease of use in terms of the way it sounds and functions freaking awesome the air intake that i had in this thing was a factory one and even if yours isn't as dirty as mine was those things do not flow air the way they're supposed to. I mean, the way these trucks are designed to, I mean, they just don't. They're super just constricting. There's a lot of crap in there that just really holds back the airflow potential with these trucks. And air and fuel is what freaking drives these things. That's how you make power. You gotta really take care of your truck in terms of the air side of things. And then you gotta make sure it has the proper fueling too to keep up. In terms of the air, flow difference this thing just freaking screams out it just sucks air and even with the truck just idling you can just hear it just slowly sucking in air through that thing and uh, it's pretty freaking sweet it all comes down to tools and what kind of stuff you have to work with it looks awesome functions awesome this kit is just completely solid i mean it's not going anywhere absolutely love it and i do recommend it even though i didn't you know contact and try to get sponsorship stuff on this kind of a kit regardless of that i'd still recommend it it's just it's just a really good kit they hopefully enjoyed the video make sure you do not forget to enter to win this truck you know you want to take it home and stay tuned for my next video because this truck is not done yet i know you guys said some stuff about tuning and head studs and lift pumps all that stuff so i read those comments and i instantly made a phone call so stay tuned i'll go into fine details in the next video you guys are awesome and yes, I'm going to end up the clip with one last idle clip of this truck so you can get one more little bit of sound of that S400 series turbo. Just hit that subscribe button, leave a like down there, comment down below, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.